Okay, here I go, uh, connecting the USB with uh, Mission Planner on. The controller is being powered. And I'm also connecting a UBEC to the output of the controller per Robert's suggestion. I wait till the blue light on the controller is steady and I connect. Navlink connection. So that's flight data. That's that's my house. So the GPS is working. I go to initial setup. Mandatory. Uh, I'll use the wizard. Wizard. Okay. Frame. Accelerometer is okay. Compass is okay. I don't have a battery monitor. Don't have sonar. Radio endpoint calibration. So turn on my transmitter. The receiver turned green, so it's receiving. Continue, calibrate radio. Okay, okay, all sticks, maximum, I also have channel 5 and channel 6, maximum, so click when done, done, all the sticks are down, okay, those are all the channels, Maximum minimum points. Okay, next. Flight mode selection. I left all of them in simple mode. Next. Verify pre arm test. Okay, since I don't have four hands, I'm going to take the throttle and put it all the way to the right with some scotch tape here. I got the throttle all the way to the right. And I'm going to connect the power to the motor. Okay, looks like the transmitter and motors have been armed. Next. Fail safe, I disabled all of them per Robert's suggestion. <clears throat> Geofence, probably come in handy later. And finish. Now I'll go to motor test. I put the throttle up to 13%. Uh, test motor A. B. Good. C. Okay. D. Okay. Now from here I don't know what to do in order to have the transmitter control the motors. All I know is uh, to disconnect the power to the BEX. I mean to the controllers, to the ESCs, and then connect, reconnect the power. The motors have all sounded. So now there's no, no response to the transmitter. That's where I'm stuck.